to Midwest Access. I'm here with Rachel Maxfield. She is a mission leader from Samaritan Bethany, and we're here to talk about that organization as well as some events that are coming up. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks. It's great to be here. Thank you. Tell us about Samaritan Bethany. That's an organization that's been in the community for a very long time, supporting the people here. Yeah, so Samaritan Bethany has been in the community for 102 years, wow. and um, we are a senior care community that provides services for residents from skilled nursing to rehabilitation services, and then on the housing side, we have independent living, assisted living, and memory care. 102 years is a really long time. Yeah. That's wonderful. Uh, you have an event coming up about golf, and it's getting warmer, so people are eager to get on the course. Tell us about that event. Yeah, we have the 17th annual golf classic out at Summer Bee Golf Club in Byron. We're super excited for this June. Um, we have a full day of events starting from the networking, signing up, getting out on the course. We have some on-course games and then, of course, afterwards, awards and dinner. You mentioned something when we were talking about before cameras were rolling about how you can uh, have a sign to commemorate a loved one yeah. during the... Explain to me that. Yeah, so if you're not a golfer and you just want to contribute to the event, you can donate for the tribute signs, which is um, paying tribute to a loved one or a community or just a shout out in general. And these signs will be displayed at the entrance for individuals to see as they come and go um, as they get ready to go out on the course. I know a lot of people want to support this organization because of all the wonderful things that Samaritan Bethany does. But what if, like me, you're a really terrible golfer? Can you still participate? Yes, you can still participate. You can come for just the dinner or you could be a sponsor of the event if you want to sponsor like the dinner event itself or we have some on-course games I mentioned where it's, you know, wine, who's closest to the wine or who's closest to the keg or closest to the pin, longest drive, things like that. It's really a, it's really a big celebration. Yeah, isn't it's it? fun. It's really fun. And so it, so you don't really have to be a good golfer. Skill level can no. be Kind of no. marginal. Yes, you okay, can good. be. You can not be the best and still be on a team because it is a four-person scramble. So you know, best ball you're playing. So you don't have to be the best golfer to still have a great time. Best ball is always key for when I'm on the course for sure. Tell me about how you're going to be using the money that you raise. Yeah. So in the past, our foundation has um, raised funds to benefit the residents. In the past, we've done it's never too late technology, which is an innovative program for residents to do games, music, things like that. We have a Cycling Without Age program that has been um, started in the past, which is a tri shop bike where the residents go out in the community, see nature, bike rides, and then come back. And then this year, the proceeds are going for a new van for the residents. It's wonderful, and I love the fact that you're taking, yeah. you're getting people outdoors, the people that are in that community, because nature is really important to your health and your well-being, as well as mm -hmm. the social, socialization, so it's all really good. So tell me about when the event is and how to sign up. Yeah, so the event is June 17th here at uh, the Summer Bee Golf Club in Byron. We're super excited. It has an 11 a.m. shotgun start, so you spend most of the day on the golf course, and then afterwards we have the awards and dinner. The awards are those games, you know, we say who got the closest to what, and then our sponsoring churches also compete every year for the reigning champ. That sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah. And what got you to get involved in elderly care? Yeah, so I started my career as a, a nursing student, but I transitioned to have more of a head of business. And then um, I found a passion through my grandfather, and he definitely was in an assisted living that I saw needed a little help. And I had a passion to do caregiving. So I was a CNA for some time, and it kind of just led my career into senior housing and the continuum of care. So back to the golf tournament, is it going to go on rain or shine? So if it, yeah. there's a storm? <laughs> yeah, yay. it is. It's going to go on no matter what, rain or shine, we will be having the event. And how many people can sign up? Is there a limit so people should sign up quickly, or do the spots fill fast? Or? We, we, there is a limit, but we definitely have the space, and we have an early bird special, so we encourage everyone to sign up by April 1st, um, but it, the sign-up goes on till, um, up until the event, but we, we do have that early bird special if you go um, online at SamaritanBethany.com to get that by April 1st. It sounds like a wonderful event. I hope to be able to be there. Rachel, thank you so much for being on Midwest Access today. You're welcome. Thanks. Yay, thank you, and I will toss it back to you.